setup we have uh, 12 or 18 volts uh, battery on the input ZVS uh, driver a probe A which is blue is connected to the positive and negative on the input of the ZVS this is the DC test on the AC test I have the probe uh, here on uh, the output of the ZVS to L1 and uh, probe B, which is the red, is on the DC test. We have it at the uh, on the cap uh, terminals, uh, positive and negative. And on the AC test, I have it uh, before the shock key diodes, um, as the on the L2, the bifilar coils. So there's the setup. Uh, Twelve volt here at the minute. For this first test is a DC test, uh, ZVS driver directly out into the, if I can show you. So we have two coils here, one on top of the other. They have ferrite on the inside and uh, the bottom coil uh, by filer is painting, uh, facing this way in. Um, if you like facing down normally I would call this facing down uh, the the flat surface facing down because of this and then I'd, what we want is this face facing in to the Litz coil uh, because this will um, allow the spring effect the stress on the system which I think I believe that's what's given us the uh, the extra um, so then we come from there, both uh, top and bottom coil on the L2 are connected together uh, to the shock key diodes, the positives and the negative are connected together that go directly to the cap. They're just coming out to this uh, LED light, which is still shining. Of course, there's a lot of capacitance uh, in the cap, but uh, this this thing will shine for over an hour after we've had one uh, tap on the 12 or 18 volt. So uh, what I've got now is I have probe one to the positive and negative. This on our scope is the uh, blue, that is A. And we have probe B, which is on the positive and negative terminals of the cap. And that is the red. So I will charge B1. Uh, basically I can't do this with one hand, so I'll have to hold it in for a second until I can um, stop the scope shot but so disconnect and uh, yeah we're still going for a while on the full brightness it depletes uh, quite quickly after about 20 seconds or something and then uh, and then we have this LED that lights uh, for the hour afterwards. Anyway, back to the scope. So what we have is on the DC side, the settings are at DC, okay? So DC, on the input, we had 90.95 millivolts DC. That's the value average. And the DC average on the output is 1.312 volts. So that's extra. Um, that's on the output. Again, we have all components uh, taking um, some of the uh, some of the power there. Um, so it could even be that it's more than that. So what I'll do here now. So that was one point three. I'll take that off. We will try with one hand see if we can 
put the 18 volt in and see what that will give us. And we'll take that off. It's a lot brighter, of course. But um, as we say, probe on the in is one DC average at the bottom here, 181.1 millivolts on the input, and on the output is 2.283 volts. Again, more out than in. You can see we're still, we have no connection basically, it's just to uh, we'll take the battery totally out. There is no battery or cap here. The only cap is this. So the next test will change to AC. And I already have the settings here. Um, ready to give us a true uh, RMS. So I'll change the probes. So probe eight. Onto the uh, lips coil on the inside. And probe B. Go. Uh, where are we? Yeah. This is before. Mm, come on. So this is the signal before we go into the uh, through the shock key. Um, from the two uh, by filers. So I'll start the uh, experiment. So we have plus. Screen capture, I'll turn this off. And again, battery out. And as we look at the um, average true RMS, 482.6 uh, millivolts on the input, and B, uh, true RMS, 2.006 volts. You can see uh, on the screenshot, the blue was the input, and the uh, by filer is the red. You see the difference there quite easily. So this is the setup. The coils on the inside, the coils on the inside are just from the uh, induction hobs. Probably get them from uh, Alibaba or somewhere or just get two hobs. And uh, these uh, bifilar coils, you can just use any uh, threaded copper, uh, insulated threaded, threaded copper uh, wire. Um, we have the Shockley diodes. I'm not sure which kind they are. Um, this was from uh, JL Nordine's um, idea. Um, so you could find that on his uh, website. But uh, yeah, I'd like somebody to come back and say that that is not putting out more or giving more out of these coils than we are putting in.